good evening everyone i think market is on the upside is defying the gravity i know we have keep hearing in this market since september the valuations are reach mid and small caps are trading at a very very expensive valuations be careful when market is ignoring all these factors all this worry and is surging if you remember last tuesday when i was in front of you and one slide i said should we expect santa rally and i said answer was no but market has its own wisdom and you can't fight against the market you need to accept the market's verdict and move on in the life and that's what has exactly happened today is a 19 december we are just 12 days away from the close of 2023 and i thought let me just summarize the key highlights i'm not going to go in great detail what happened in 2023 but before i do that let me just put a small disclaimer that this webinar is only for an education purpose whenever you invest in the equity market it does carry a little high amount of risk and past performance is no guarantee or indicator of a future returns having said that you know when 2023 started human has a very uh, poor memory i'll ask you a very simple question and i will just see what people are responding if i have to ask you which is the best quarter for the indian equity market in 2023 was it first quarter that is jan to march or is it the second quarter april to june or was it the third quarter july to september or the fourth quarter december october to december please put everyone with which you believe is the best returns market gave in which quarter so you know in coming back to that point i wanted to say in 2023 when it began i think it was a very very sad scenario uh, people were pessimistic there was no clarity and 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 that point of time uh, there was no hamas and israel war actually but people had a fear that inflation will remain sticky and rate cut will further move up which it did actually in the month of feb so more of a gloom and doom kind of scenario and mid and small cap was absolutely a loss course in the sense investors lost faith that mid and small cap can make money i'm just now bringing you back to the 19 december 2023 and what happened to the market if you look at this market this all data as of today 19 december 2023 and you can look at it sensex is up by 17.4 percent nifty 18.5 mid cap 42.9 and small cap 46.3 now do i buy is matter people untouchable with the mid and small cap and the moment you say that mid and small cap will outperform people would call you mad which many of you did actually call to me but this is the numbers if you look at the what happened to the sectoral indices many of you would think that psu bank is the best performing sector in 2023 that is not true actually it is outperformed no doubt about it but the top most performing thematic has been nifty psc 76.4% in a year followed by nifty realty capital goods auto infra pharma and so on and so forth and if you look at the bank nifty all the nifty finance all nifty metal they are underperformer why because they grew less than the the sensex 17.4% nifty 18.5% they all three grew 
less than the overall market and that clearly gives an idea about and again rewind back to beginning of 2020 and each and every one said nifty 50 lena chahiye nifty finance should be taken it did not work out on the contrary nifty it which was the most consensus sell call has outperformed the nifty 50 why 18.5 versus 23.5 am i right and pharma which was not on the buying list is up by 30.1 percent and that's the th so the one thing which clearly comes out in our in our mind plays a very dirty trick with us we are all victims of recency bias company that work well we assume it's going to do well and the company that don't do well we assume it's not going to perform well also going forward and we become a victims of that so this data is just to give you an idea what happened now let's further drill down this data that what happened quarter wise and the fourth quarter definitely is not yet ended so i have taken data as of 19 december again same the first quarter was completely wash out quarter why sensex was down by minus 3.9 mid cap 4.9 and small cap 6.8 now i remember the statement from many of our viewers don't you think you are making a big mistake predicting nifty 20100 where the nifty is down by 4% from the close of 2003 nifty has to give returns of 20100 it has to bounce so much smartly and there is no way this can happen and people have lost the hope and then people also said tumara prediction medium small cap ka nahi sahi hoga bhai because mid cap fell by 5% in f1 quarter and 6.8% in the first quarter but we are very quick in terms of reaching to conclusion and the moment you look at it what happened then every quarter the large cap close in the green mid cap close in the green and small cap close in the green but look at the delta between the large between the mid and between the small now i had asked question that which is the best quarter for the market kaun sa tha how many people have said q2 okay so many of you had said q2 and i'm happy that you people are very very inform in that sense because when i did the dip study dip stick study i have been informed fourth quarter why because abhi chalu hai market mein tezi hai but if you look at it the best quarter is not the fourth quarter it was the second quarter that is sensex went up by 9.7 mid cap up by 19.6 and small cap 20.9 that was the best quarter for the market we have not yet but third quarter was completely washed out for the large cap why only is 1.7% but medium small cap significantly outperform the large cap again i wish to harp and see this is data the reason i present this data just to make you understand that equity is all about non linear returns never jump to conclusion of what happened in one quarter two quarter to say that this is what is like yahi hone wala hai wo acha hai to shayad acha nahi bhi hai aur wo kharab hai to zaruri nahi ko kharab hi rahe and hence my request to all of you is to remove that recency bias and i have been requesting this not today i have been requesting this for many many years now and i want everyone to learn from that our mistakes that we make and we jump to conclusion of course 
it's a detrimental to your financial health it's not my financial health because our, our bias works against us not in favor of us and that creates a problem in terms of wealth creation so market by nature is going to remain sometimes get frustrated you i can give a classical example you know a pms one customer decided not to join and when we ask bolta sahab mujhe maloom hai market nahi chalne wala hai general election tak and look at what happened in the month of november and the december ye october ki baat hai jab maine unse baat ki thi we think ki hame sab kuch maloom hai we think that our prediction will going to turn out to be true and that's where i think we act in a hast not able to control our emotions and we end up losing money in the market i give classic another example this i have received on whatsapp so i don't know how far it is true but you know this one gentleman seems to have invested in one of the hdfc equity scheme and he absolutely forgot about that investment he invested some 5000 rupees at that point of time and suddenly in one fine day after many many years he is able to you know suddenly that paper came on his hand that investment that he had made and when he looked at the returns he was a little surprised now this gentleman admits had i was aware about the this investment i would not have waited so long and i would have got out of the scheme long back and that's why there is one word that i keep saying now in offlet in my webinar is a forced compounding what does this mean samajh lo ki wo lock usko iska to lock in ho gaya usko to pata hi nahi tha kya hua usko to forced compounding ho gaya agar had he knew that his script has got the portfolio done so well he would have exited from that thing he would not have created that sustainable long term wealth in something similar i happened to attend uh, very recently one of the uh, event of pms bazaar and one fund manager made a statement that sometimes we are too much caught up by the short term trend and in the process we we make our long term vision little blur and that's what exactly was happen you know short term volatility makes us so excited or so fearful that we miss out on our long term wealth creation journey and this data basically proves that very surprisingly when i was looking at this data from fi and di i think fi's are more and more becoming more like a retail investors selling low buying high in the jan and feb they sold heavily but what level the market was down as you can see in this first quarter data the market was down whether it was sensex or there was a mid cap whether it was a small cap and they sold so they basically sold when the market was down again in the month of september and october they sold market did move down am i right and they are buying in month of december they were invested 54757 cuz that's the highest monthly inflow and of course month is not yet over in 2023 to jaise ek retail investors behave karta hai somehow fpi is doing very similar on the contrary di seems to be more sensible in terms of the investment as compared to fii they have put in more money as compared to fii but and they hardly on two months they have been net seller and that selling was also very nominal selling it's not that they sold very very heavily am i right and i think that's basically clear gives, gives an idea and of course again same thing january 2023 mein kisko ummeed hi nahi thi ki fi paisa aa dalega the news was so negative 
and we allowed and it is one thing which i have learned and i must say this uh, uh, learning to all of you if you are confused about the market and remember this is a very good mantra so please jot it down please record it please play it back again and again whenever you are confused in the market please stay away if you don't know which direction the market is going to go please stay away for that time being that's the best strategy you can do otherwise if you it's like when you are playing a five day match test match you allow some balls to go and go to the wicket keeper right you don't play every ball something similar we must also learn otherwise who will end up losing the wicket you giving up the wicket am i right प्लीज पास ऑन दैट थिंग लर्न दैट जरूरी नहीं है कि मुझे डेली कुछ करना है वीकली कुछ करना है मंथली कुछ करना है जब बिकॉज योर वेन योर योर माइंड इज क्लाउडेड योर थॉट प्रोसेस आर नॉट क्लियर एंड यू वुड एंड अप डूइंग समथिंग विच आर नॉट सपोज टू डू सो इफ यू आर कन्फ्यूज प्लीज टे अवे दैट्स द बेस्ट स्ट्रेटेजी otherwise give your money to the professional fund manager let him do or him or her to do the job for you but bevkufi mat karna koi bhi the recent rally which we have seen in last 10 to 15 days has surprised many including me i'll be very honest with you reason why market is going up clearly post assembly election results and dovi statement not only from the jerem powell but others also who are part of the fmc committee have been giving clear cut indication that they are done with the rate cut so the rate hike so i stand corrected they have done with the rate hike and in 2024 of course people are making a lot of prediction but there are rate cuts are going to be there now in the process of this euphoria and i was looking at some of the ipos also and i was really wondering had they come out in a very bad market had they given subscribe one times but the fact is they are not only subscribing one time they subscribe more and more times and that's a little danger sign i must tell you that also this rally is driven by some quality good stocks but not too many great quality companies in fact i happened to meet one of the ceo of amc recently and he said sunil bhai we are buying quality stocks we may underperform temporarily but that's fine so there's a big wisdom that coming in why because everyone is the process mujhe outperform karna hai mujhe outperform karna hai without realizing in the process of outperformance are you compromising on the quality of the company and if for some reason of the strategy does not work out your risk reward is not in your favor it's like you are driving a car so i am in from bombay and if i have to go to pune i can drive it 120 km i can drive it 130 km and as compared to someone who is driving at 60 km very obviously 120 130 will drive obviously logically should reach faster to the pune am i right jaldi nahi ko pahunch hi payega so somewhere we need to learn the art of patience sometimes your portfolio may underperform fine as long as your strategy is right in fact in my some of the previous webinars i did mention one graph which i used to say if your process is right eventually your outcome has to be good if your process is bad maybe you temporarily you might win but eventually you lose and i think that that's very very critical for all of you to learn from this see market is a good teacher provided we are willing to learn from the teacher hame sikhna hi nahi hai to teacher kuch bhi kar lega farak nahi padta na remember market is a good teacher start 
learn what market is saying listen observe very carefully and do that i know everyone want to hear our view on what how do we see the market in 2024 i thought we will also this time we do it more interactive we want your feedback to come to us what you want us to cover in our presentation of outlook 2024 so we have created a special email id only for the next few days that is till 23 december this email id would be valid what is the email id outlook 2024 mojopms.com you can take a snapshot of this you can jot it down outlook 2024 at the rate mojopms.com please suggest what you want us to cover in our outlook 2024 please not that this email would be valid only till 23 december who post that even if you send the message will not get delivered because that email id will get disabled to aapko kuch bhi suggestion hai next 4 5 din mein hame bhej dijiye having said that i am making your life easy how i am anyway giving you the pointers that i am anyway going to cover in my outlook so you should write to us only and only if these points are not covered in my this ppt it's already covered then anyway i have noted so there is even if you write me i am not going to it's not going to do any value addition so what i'm going to anyway cover in my outlook 2024 presentation how many rate cuts from fed and rbi in 2024 how crude oil price will behave in 2024 should we expect fpi to continue to be positive on indian equity market what kind of impact general election will have on the market because this is a election year 2024 can gold and silver continue its upward journey in 2024 which strategy is good strategy in this market will it be growth or the value remember 2022 belong to value investing so ye growth hoga ya value chalega what could be the downside risk to nifty kaun sa level tak nifty ja sakta hai in 2020 if you remember in my prediction of 2023 i mentioned 16500 if my memory serves me right and nifty closed the lowest it touches 16800 so very close to that and i'm sub 100 points here and there so please pardon me because my memory is not that strong that i can remember what i predicted last one year one year back what kind of gain can we expect from the indian equity market in 2024 so i'll be giving you what level we should expect in nifty and sensex of course you want also want to know can mid and small cap extend the rally in 2024 and which are the sectors that one should be watching out for in 2024 so these are the 10 points i am anyway covering so for some reason if you are going to repeat those points please don't write because coach valuation but if you think yes i want to know over and about these 10 points please write to us at outlook 2024 at mojopms.com this is the first time we are doing this exercise for you because we wanted your inputs so that whatever the question that bothering you we can try to cover in our presentation of outlook 2024 just for the everyone's information our presentation would be on equity outlook 2024 in the first week of jan so with this i think i have taken almost half an hour so let's open the floor for question answer Uh, Dilip is saying is coming to in one of your webinar when you exit. You told me when when you come as joining market in it's time to be question. Now it is the Facebook many investors are creating group and promising huge returns. Many joining your opinion. Uh, so as I said, Dilip ji in my pre, uh, presentation also yes, market has surprised anyone that this last leg of rally has really uh, surprised me also. And I think uh, and I I wrote in my Twitter handle also. 
whenever there is a steep rise in the market, the descent has been also be equally sharp. So be careful about what you buy, uh, and be wary of this so-called experts on the social media. Uh, they could be also a ploy for them to distribute their holding to the to newbie investors, and they will end up losing big time. Please do your own homework if you are don't have an advisor with you, and decide should I at all invest in that company. See, our problem is we all want easy money in life. How one rupee ka find out ne karte wo company kya kisi ne tip de diya ja ke le liya, and then you realize, ah, tumko pata bhi ne uska company kya banati hai. वो आर द प्रमोटर्स कंपनी कहाँ की है वी डोंट नो एनी थिंग अबाउट दैट कंपनी बट वी जस्ट वॉन्ट टू किसी ने टिप दे दिया ले लो सो आई वॉन्ट यू टू बेसिकली स्टार्ट अरे हम कुछ शॉपिंग करने जाते हैं वेदर यू गो एंड बाई ए शर्ट और ट्राउजर एटलीस्ट यू चेक इट आउट माई राइट मुझे फिट होता है कि नहीं डू आई गेट द राइट फील और नॉट सब्जी लेने जाता हो देखते हो कि नहीं देखते हो टमाटर लाल कलर का है क्या नहीं है एम आई राइट और नॉट Why don't you do a basics? And I'll give very classical, which I made also made a mistake. It's not that me, but Peda was upset. Yeah, nee tha. This is one company called Qualitron Component, which uh, I I must have said in my previous webinars also. So, and I was at that point of time, I was doing my CA, or I was doing my CA, or I was doing my graduation. I don't know. Uh, but there's company called Qualitron Component. This company, the previously, if you remember this company, there was a, 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 a brand called. क्राउन कलर टी वी दो ही टी वी बनते थे इंडिया में क्राउन एंड बुश दो ही ब्रांड था तभी तभी वो तभी वीडियो कॉन भी नहीं था बी पी एल भी नहीं था और सैमसंग एल जी और ये सब तो अभी आए सोनी अभी क्या है अभी इन देंस इट इज इन द लास्ट कपल ऑफ डेज दे आर इन द मार्केट तो दिस कंपनी क्वालिटी एंड कंपनी वॉज ए मैन्युफैक्चर द क्राउन टी वी वॉज ओन बाई दिस कंपनी तो किसी ने मुझे थमा दिया सेस तभी तो फिजिकल सेस थे डिमेट भी नहीं थे तो मैंने ले लिया पाँच सौ से कुछ बत्तीस के भाव में धैन मुझे समझ में नहीं आया सर अभी दैट टाइम आई वॉज ऑल्सो लिटिल न्यू था एक्साइटेड मैं ले लिया सेज भी आ गया और सेज देखा तो एकदम चकाच एकदम फ्रेशली मिंटेड पता चला ये प्रमोटर ने बेचा हुआ है माल तभी कैपिटल मार्केट द लास्ट डेट आती थी अभी भी आती है ऐसा नहीं कहती उस पर डेटा बैंक था मैंने देखा भाई इसका सेल्स क्या है तभी इंटरनेट भी नहीं था नेट प्रॉफिट क्या नहीं रियल दिस कंपनी बीन इनकरिंग लॉसेस फॉर मेनी मेनी इयर्स द द मोमेंट आई रियल इज आई गोट इन टू ए रॉन्ग कंपनी मुझे किसी ने चिपका दिया ए फ्रेंड ऑफ माय ओनली आई टोल्ड माय ब्रोकर सेल इमीजिएटली ऑफकोर्स मैं मुनाफे में बेचा मैंने वो कंपनी तो अभी बंद हो गई अभी तो लिस्टिंग होगी बट दैट्स वॉट आई एम टाइम टू से बी लर्न ऑफकोर्स दैट विल बी मेनी It has happened in the past. It is happening now, and it will happen in the future. So you have to be very, very careful. Don't believe all the experts. And yes, market has run up little fast. I think logically it should correct. And if it corrects, uh, uh, again it will give you a good opportunity to buy. So someone asked me a very simple question today. If you think market is looking little pricey, would you still recommend us to buy? My answer is well, yes. Ultimately, you cannot time the market. Number one, number two, what you are buying is going to decide what kind of returns you are going to make in three to five years. If you are going to put company, invest in a company which are not going to take part in the next rally, you will keep under buying for donkey's years. उसका कोई भलाई नहीं होने वाली सर कंपनी लाइक क्वालिटी कंपनी विच आई हेड इन्वेस्टेड और पिरामिड साइन मेरा इफ यू रिमेंबर दो कंपनीज एंड सो एंड सो फॉर्थ यू कैन एव नेवर मेक मनी बाई बिकॉज मार्केट चलेगा वो कंपनी नहीं चलेगा एंड देन यू गेट फ्रस्ट्रेटेड Yes, I I'm I'm little worried as we as we speak about the some of the not so great quality company moving up, and that's what exactly said said in my uh, uh, presentation also. This calls for caution as the wrong selection of stock could cost heavily. If you can see this, uh, can you just show my uh, yeah? This line is I think very very critical, which I anyway put it uh, that please please see not so good quality companies are part of it. In the rally, this call for caution as wrong selection of stock could cost heavily. Can we move on to the next question, please? Mahesh ji is asking which sector is undervalued relatively. Uh, my request, sir, please wait. 
मैंने बोला मैं फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ जनवरी में आपके सामने आऊँगा एंड आई टेल यू विच सेक्टर्स वी बिलीव विल डू वेल इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर तो दोज हु आर डोंट नो इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री लेट मी सी वॉट आर द सेक्टर्स आई हैव सेटेड अभी मैं भी जैसे आपसे बात करता हूँ मैं भी अपने वेबिना वो खोल रहा हूँ एक मिनट लेट मी सी विच आर द सेक्टर्स आई सजेस्टेड एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम विच विल डू वेल इन टू थाउजेंड जनवरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री तो मैं अपना पी पी टी खोल रहा हूँ एक मिनट जूना पी पी टी होगा Uh, we did on second January last time, so let me. Okay, uh, can I can you see my presentation? Yes. Ah, uh, so I did. Which sectors will do well in two thousand twenty three? I said IT, ITSE. I said pharma, and I had said capital goods and infra. I think all three ways you must have seen. Has done outperform the market, and of course I'll come back to you. And of course I said two thousand twenty year of four small caps. That's exactly what has happened. So I'll come back uh, and I'll tell you such. So just hold on for uh, maybe ten days more, and I'll be in front of you. Which sectors will do well in two thousand twenty four? Uh, to you and your team for giving all the user satisfaction. Sandeep Ji saying. I would appreciate if you give me two four two to four market terms I explain in detail for to your users. Hand holding is very good, but giving knowledge would be appreciate. Which are the? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not able to understand your question. One question is cut. Did you cut? Sandeep Ji's? Huh? Congressman, you and your team are giving all the user satisfaction. I would appreciate if you in a month two four two to four market terms. सर विश मार्केट टर्म्स इफ यू कैन हेल्पर्स विल बी मोर देन हैप्पी बिकॉज सर जो मार्केट टर्म्स शायद आपको नहीं पता शायद दूसरे को पता होगा तो दे विल गेट बोर्ड तो इफ यू टेल एस विच आर द टर्म्स दैट यू वोट लाइक टू डू आई बी मोर देन हैप्पी टू आंसर इन द प्रोसेस बहुत सारे दूसरे भी हो सकते जिसको भी शायद पता नहीं हो तो पता चल जाए पर नॉर्मली हम लोग जो मार्केट टर्म यूज करते हैं यहाँ हमारे वेबिनार में दिस आर वेरी कॉमन टर्म्स आई डोंट थिंक उसको ज़्यादा डिटेल में एक्सप्लेन करने की जरूरत भी होती है पर एनी भी आप लिखिए हमें संदीप जी एंड विल बी मोर देन हैप्पी टू आंसर दोस्त uh sir i 100% agree with you your question is about number of ipos entering the market every week is not an indicator that boom in the market and we should be cautious of course we have to be cautious and that's exactly what i have stated in my presentation also it is calls for caution as the long selection of stock could cost heavily sometimes it's good to underperform because in the zeal to outperform you should not get add up so i'll give you a simple example another classic example Okay, I was not in front of you last week except Tuesday. Then I was traveling. So I had gone to Indore from Thursday to uh, uh, Sunday. Sunday evening I came back. And there is one place which is closer to Indore. It's called Omkar. So it's one of the Jyoti Link. And I went there, and then there was a huge queue because I happened to go on Saturday, which is a long day to go. Long queue. तो वहाँ पे दो क्यू चल रहे थे एक ऐसी क्यू थी विच इज क्लोजर टू द टेम्पल वॉल एंड दर अनदर क्यू विच इज लिटिल आउटसाइड दस्ट नॉट टचिंग द टेम्पल वॉल पर ऑफकोर्स आई न्यू सम वन हु सजेस्टेड यू रिमेन विद द द क्यू विच इज क्लोजर टू द टेम्पल वॉल बिकॉज दैट्स ए शॉर्टकट यू विल रीच फास्टर ना उस जगह पे मूवमेंट नहीं हो रही थी पर दर वॉज अनदर क्यू विच वॉज आउटसाइड लिटिल लॉन्गर वहाँ पे मूवमेंट हो रही थी तो पीपल थॉट ये बंदा पागल है यहाँ पे क्यों खड़ा है बिकॉज दे कुड सी देम सेल्फ गोइंग अप बट वो आगे जाके अटक गए एंड दैट समथिंग सिमिलर विद द मार्केट टूरे नो अच्छो क्वालिटी कम नहीं शायद आगे बढ़ जाएगी आपको लगा हमें पीछे रह गया बट इवेंचुअली जो अच्छी क्वालिटी में बने हुए हैं आई थिंक दे विल रीच द डेस्टिनेशन मच बेट एज कम्पेयर टू नो अच्छो गुड क्वालिटी कंपनीज सतीश सिंह सिंह आई वुड लाइक टू कन्वे माई सिंसियर रिकेटेड टू यू एंड मोहित एंड इंटर मोहित फॉर मेकिंग स्मॉल इन्वेस्टर सक्सेस विद जे पना से थैंक यू सर लॉर्ड सर सतीश जी फॉर योर काइंड वर्ज हाउ वी नीड टू गेयर अप फॉर इन्वेस्टर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर डू वी सी एनी सेक्टर्स विच आर गोइंग टू कम फ्रॉम बॉटम लाइक मेटल्स फार्मा केमिकल ऑल्सो इट विल बी गुड इफ यू कैट गुड माइक्रो कैप कंपनी सिमिलर टू द स्ट्रीट हेड विच वी इंट्रोड्यूस इन पार्ट ऑफ मोजो वन तो सतीश जी You would have seen my presentation. I did mention that 
I'm going to cover the sector that like to do well in 2024. I think that would take care of that. Micro cap companies, uh, our Mojo one do have a strategy uh, within the micro cap. My only request to all of you in micro cap, it's a high risk, high return strategy. And mentally you should be ready that if I'm investing in 10 micro cap companies, two would be the outliers. In the sense, both paisa bana ke jayega. Two, three is going to go down the drain. Or balance three, five, five, four, five, six, I'm going to remain at the same level. But overall, you will still make money. Why? Because two chal gaya hai na, what bada paisa bana ke. But that calls for, so that's where I think micro cap should not be a single stock approach. It should be more of a basket of stocks within the micro cap. Because you know that someone will not work. But you don't know which one will not work. Am I right? And that's where you should have a basket of stocks. And then remain patience. Because see, kya hota hai? Kabhi kabhi hamara patience bhoat khatkali khatam ho jata hai. I'll give you a classical example, okay? And, and again, my own... See, how do we learn in life? Either you make mistakes and you learn. You learn from someone else's mistakes. Or then you learn by, by reading or watching videos or listening to audios. The example I'm giving is I've learned from my own uh, this one. Not mistakes, but my own uh, experience I'm saying so. I had invested in one chemical company because I read one article in one of the publications of this company and they did a talk about uh, something very exciting this. And this company was into that, so I said, let me buy. I bought that company maybe at 7 or 8, com eight rupees or something. Three or four years ago, that company was 4 rupees, 2 rupees, 5 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 rupees, but did not make any money. Market was going on. Am I right? Today, the same company is more than 100 rupees. Do you have that patience? My worry is that, you know, our people have a lot of money to make money. Would you hold on to that company for that long period? Of course, we should have a conviction, number one. What is our problem? I know that conviction is very low. We go to God's house, and we say that God has given us 10 rupees, so we should have immediate return. It's not like that. We say that God doesn't listen to me, give me time to do it. So I think that's where the problem is. I think first you need to have a patience. When you invest in microcap, you should have a conviction and a patience. And you should also understand, very mentally be prepared, that in 10 or 3 or 4 companies, it's going to be a big deal. If you have two companies, you're going to be a lot of money. Overall, I'm saying. So if you've invested one, like 10, 10,000 rupees each, the two companies give you a 7 or 8x return, three, four companies remain at the same level, and do what we call 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, your overall return will still be 2x or 3x. Why? Because the two companies which has done extremely well will compensate for other eight companies. And that's how you should do it, Satishji. So my request would be, make it a basket of stocks than the single individual stock. But then you are running a really high risk in that. Suresh is asking, general elections approaching, if BJP does not form the government, market will crash. Many are estimating drawdown to the extent of 30%. Similarly, if BJP forms the government, market will shoot up tremendously. Sir, my question is, is will it be prudent to have cash in headedness to invest immediately? Either we have the result or should we exercise caution if the market should up post-election results? In your opinion, what could be the drawdown percentage and draw-up percentage in either of the election results? So, Suresh, your question is definitely a very valid question. How much drawdown happened, what happened, what goes down? It's also a function of color of or, or the if BJP wins, by what percentage it wins? How many states it wins? It's less or more. If it loses election, kitna kam hua, kya hua? The all permutation comment that's going to play and come into play. But as I promise, I'm going to cover the impact of general election in my webinar, as I said, am I right? What kind of impact general election result will have on the market? So Suresh, so my request, please hold on. Uh, I will cover this topic because anyway, this event is in May 2024, am I right? 
we have sufficient time so i'm going to cover this in january first week of january only most most only second january i'll cover maybe second or third i don't know which day would be there uh, let me see as i speak to you second jan is a tuesday maybe i can come in front of you that is next to next tuesday and maybe i can cover try to cover this but in case if you have more question please do not hesitate to write to us outlook 2024 at mojopms.com and i'll be able more than happy to cover but i think you made a very interesting point what could be the drawdown of percentage term i think that's a very good which i have not thought about to be very honest with you in my that ppt i'll i think i'll try to add that point also when i come in front of you either on second or third jan uh devasis is asking a very intelligent question i am having a portfolio with major portion of bojo stock but in previous two months my portfolio is underperforming significantly sir you are not alone uh many experts and i was giving one example of one of the leading ceo of a mutual fund he said also the same thing we are investing quality we may underperform but so be it because we will stick to the quality uh is there sector or is something wrong in my portfolio there is nothing wrong with your portfolio sector or is in the name of the game but i think uh, and that's why i said uh, do not get perturbed by short term underperformance as long as your strategy is right not all strategy will outperform all the time but as long as your conviction and when you know that this the your process is consistent it should offer do maine mein kuch fark nahi pata underperformance hua to कौन सा बड़ा पहाड़ गिरने वाला है कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ने वाला है द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट फॉर्म लाइक वॉरन बुफे एंड राकेश झुंझुल वाला दे ऑल हैव अंडर परफॉर्म नॉट फॉर टू मंथ्स मे बी फॉर टू इयर्स आल्सो बट दे रिमेन थिक एंड थिन वेदर दे स्टोरी एंड दे मेड मनी दैट काइंड ऑफ स्टोर दो महीने में कुछ नहीं दिस थिंग रॉन्ग प्लीज डोंट गेट टू मच कंसर्न विथ योर अंडर परफॉर्मेंस Uh, Pinak is asking. I have three questions. Given that FRs are coming back to the Indian market, do you think in near future large caps may outperform the mid and small caps since FRs are normally buy large cap? Okay, sir. So let me. Uh, uh, is my uh, PPT is visible? Okay. Let's look at what FI did. FI invested how much? Where is my PPT? Can you see my? मुझे नहीं दिख रहा है यहाँ पे. Okay, good. So just remove that question again. You can put it back. They invested one point six lakh crore in two thousand twenty-three. Now let's look at what happened to the mid and small cap in two thousand twenty-three. Forty-six point three percent is the gain by the small cap. Oh, sorry, a forty-two point nine percent by the uh, uh, just see, and large cap is seventeen and eighteen point five. Let's go back to the question again. so your assumption that since fi is going to come back will mid and small cap underperform as compared to large cap nahi hua na and if you look at the data which i presented quarter wise quarter also the 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 every quarter whenever there is a fi inflow or outflow the the mid and small cap outperform the large cap significantly in fact in the third quarter but each and every month fi was positive this quarter i'm saying large cap moved by 1.7% but mid and small cap moved by 12.4 and 15.2 and look at third quarter numbers okay like look at this one <laughs> third quarter is this one 46000 se ye quarter am i total inflow what kind of kitna tha near about 50000 crore not 50000 crore 44000 crore and yet the large cap did not move but mid and small cap moved up to mere khayal se wo कोरिलेशन बिठाना थोड़ा गलत होगा गो बैक टू द्वेश्चन प्लीज इफ यू डोंट माइंड आई जस्ट कवर द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज देर इज स्पेक्टेशन यूएस में स्टिल हैव ए हार्ड लैंडिंग इन दिस स्टेज आर यू स्टिल बुलिस ऑन आई टी स्टॉक्स ओके सो आई थिंक दैट्स अनदर गुड क्वेश्चन दैट पीनक आई एम गेटिंग इट फ्रॉम यू विल दे बी हार्ड लैंडिंग इन यू एस सो मे बी आई थिंक यू वॉन्ट अस टू सो आई थिंक वेन आई कवर माई हाउ मेनी Rate cuts in 2024 from the Fed. I think I'll also cover. Should we expect hard landing or soft landing in the US? So that topic I'll definitely cover. So don't worry on that front because I'm going to cover that. 
the dollar index is falling and metal index has moved up in the past few months. Do you think the metal space has still some steam left in? I believe yes, uh, it, it has steam lift, but anyway, I'll try to cover that also in my sector's outlook. Where if for some reason, if my equity outlook does not carry that thing, please feel free to ask because in equity outlook also, we'll have a question and answer. And if you want, I will make it two hours kind of a uh, event so that we can take up as many questions as possible because my presentation will take a little longer than the normal presentation because I need to cover a lot of stuff in that. But I'll do that. So don't worry, Pinakji. I think I'll, I think your questions are right. Uh, uh, I'll try to cover that. But don't make an assumption that if FIs are buying more, that means money will. In fact, you'll be surprised. Many of the FIs started looking at medium small cap because they also want to generate alpha, and they also started now dipping into those medium small cap to create that alpha. <laughs> okay, Kalpit, Gauri and Madhusudan, I think three people are asking uh, concern about COVID. Yes, it is. In fact, Singapore also has advised caution now. I think Kerala government has done, done government, Ministry of Health has also given. And see, as I've always seen in the past, the one event does not impact the market sentiment twice. In the sense, COVID impacted market sentiment in March 2020. It's got second wave aaya, third wave aaya. market did not panic. So I think, yes, it is a matter of concern. Yes, there could be little dip. But because of COVID rising, should we expect market to come down? My answer is no. Uh, Salim is asking portfolio showing gain of 20 when book profit now and buy again when the market goes down. Salim ji, if you can do that, you'll be next to the Warren Buffet. Because kya hoga sir? Aap abhi besto loge. Koi dikkat nius mein. Bada bada. Because the gain to ho gaya, ghar pe a gaya. When the market actually goes down, will you have a guts to invest at that point of time? That time you'll wait for market to go further to go down. And then market will go up. Again, I give you an example of our PMS customer. October mein market jai nahi sakta upar. He did not invest. Market bounced back. And that investor who is attending this webinar must be really feeling sorry. Because he must have lost minimum 10% gain in the portfolio. Minimum I am saying so. So I don't want you to run that sir. Ha, but having said that, look at the company that you are holding. Jaha pe aapko lagta hai ki yes. Don't get out of the market completely. Don't have that... Uh, a wholesale approach. Look at company wise company. Ye company mein hai dam aage jaake chalne ka nahi hai. Paisa leke ghar pe chala jau. Us dushti company mein achche company dal do. But look at more granular. Just because 20% is up, let me book profit. To fir aap market se bahari nikal jaoge. Wapis aapko market ane ka moka nahi dega. Because kya hai? As I told you, recency bias Salim ji. We are, how many investors invested in month of five? In fact, I have been requesting with the folded hands to all of you. If you go back to my webinars in month of uh, Feb and uh, March, I said, yes, market will be good, it will be good. Very few believed me. I must tell you that. Very few believed me. And look at the rally. Because then you don't have to put money in your money. In fact, on the contrary, in my infinity portfolio, many of you said, I have to take money. I said, you're crazy. You said, you're crazy. This is not the time to get out of the market. It's a time to put in the market. You said, the bottom is very low. क्या जवाब दे सकता हूँ? Someone said for twelve thousand, if you remember in one of these webinars, someone said for हमने तो सुना है निफ्टी द्वारा आजा हो जाएगा। मैं एक रुपया नहीं डालने वाला हूँ मार्केट में। You will miss out. So Salim ji, my worry is that you will not be able to get into the market at the bottom. It's a very extremely difficult to figure out bottom. Bottom is known only after it has been formed. And so don't try to time the market. Sir, कोई कर नहीं पाए आप भी नहीं कर पाओगे। Uh, Sudhant is saying uh, one of the best data slide you used to share is how much the AUM under model portfolio perform year on year and how much outperform benchmark. Can you share again this time in your equity outlook? Help us to give me confidence that model portfolio outperforms the most situation. 
since running and should outperform in future. Siddhant sir, I think uh, we have stopped doing this because of regulatory issue. Uh, we can't show that data uh, purely because of uh, regulation doesn't allow us to do that. And that's the reason uh, we have stopped selling that data to, uh, 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 to the, in the public forum. My only request to uh, you is that if you've created your own model portfolio and if it's seen the market cycle, you would know how it has performed, all right? Or ask your friends who have been using markets much as a platform, model portfolio kya hai? I can tell you with a lot of confidence that any model portfolio which is three years and old have not only in profit but outperformed significantly. Provided you have followed all the advice in a very diligent manner. Because we have changed our model portfolio strategy where we ask you to do basically on your own. So you can accept and reject when you want to because previously we used to auto insert. The trade, we assume that you have already done that trade, which we have stopped doing that. But anyone who has followed our advice in a disciplined manner for minimum three years period, they are all in profit and outperforming. That means uh, November 2020 and Older than that. Uh, Sanjay is asking how long should one remain invested in large, mid, and small cap if any of them does not do well for a certain period as IT remains subdued for a long time into them? How to support the trend reversal? So, how long should one remain? See, I think one should always remember. Your reason to buy that company, you when you bought a company, you must have had a reason to buy that I was going on chemical company which I bought and then it was trading below my purchase price for many years. I did not exit. Why? Because your reason to buy that company continues to hold true. Whether in profit or whether in booking losses, I must tell you in both the cases. Even you should not be too early to book profit also. So as long as the reason why you bought that company and the reason continues to hold true, will remain invested in that company. Come what may. I'll give classical other classical volume beverages, which was our stock of the month more than two years. We've been holding this company in our portfolio for more than two years. In model portfolio also, and when infinity was in infinity also. Many of you would have a, a volume beverages. We did not exit. And despite the fact that, you know, that in between there was a scare that Reliance has launched Kempa Cola, which could eat into the market share of volume beverages because the Pepsi distributor. We did our study and we realized there's nothing to worry at all about it. And that's a paid off, am I right? So reason to exit from a company should never be the function of how much profit we are making or how much loss we are making. The reason to exit from that company should be, is there a change in the story of that company or not? Now that should, logic should also apply to the sector. And trend reversal, sir, is when new technology has come up or new regulations has come up or there's a change in the economic parameters of the globally. These are the trend reversals for the sector. Otherwise, some temporary setback can come, but that would be temporary only. It will again bounce back as has happened with IT sector, am I right? So that's what you, like pharma suggested a trend reversal uh, in 2013-14, when you know it was doing so extremely well, it was heated and it's underperformed very significantly. And in 2023, we realized that it's uh, it should outperform. Why did we say if you go back to that presentation? Because of generic, US generic prices, which was going down, started stabilizing. And that was the first trend reversal that we saw and we suggested, please get into pharma now because it makes a lot of sense. I must tell you, it's not easy. You need to have a lot of research, a lot of reading, a lot of uh, data analysis, because sometimes the, I may have the same information, you may have the same information, but we both conclude little differently. Why? Because the, how to read data is also a critical art. Mohit said, is saying, sir, we are saying daily Nifty making new eyes, but some QSR segment says it hasn't performed in one year. If market fall, can we shift to those says? <laughs> Uh, sometimes, you know, some companies do also act as a shock absorber. So, the market ke wo bhi nahi ke because they participate in it. Uh, but so that's not the way to look at it. Uh, the company that did not participate may not participate even future also when the market crisis. 
I think again, uh, Mohit ji is a very simple way you should look at it, and that's what I do. It isn't for me to buy that company. Is it same or not? Is is there change in the story? If the answer is no, no, please don't get out of that company. Please remain invested in that company. Why? Because वो temporary setback हो सकता है. But overall that company, so the QSI company, the reason you bought it, okay? Or if you are not bought it also, but you are watching that counter. If the story remains the same, don't get too much bought up by the short term underperformance. But the story is change. Please don't try to then they then will be catching a falling knife. Sad market chale par ho company nahi chale. But market gaye usme sad market mein to sad tezi mein nahi chala, lekin mandi mein gaye bhi sakta hai wo. So again, go back to the basic side. See, you know, I always see, uh, you know, and I, 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 I from my personal experience, I'm saying. Making money in the market is easy, provided you follow a common sense approach. Problem क्या है हमारे यहाँ पे हमको everyone is want to basically we make keep it simple. Your philosophy has to be simple and practical. ये दो चीज हो जाएगा ना. We see we try to make it more complicated. Like and the people those who more make more complicated ना जो अपने बहुत ये डेटा लेके ये लिंगो लेके ये जागन लेके दोस्त पीपल इन नॉर्मल विल अंडर परफॉर्म वो उसका काम उसके दूसरा कुछ वो लिंगो आपको कंफ्यूज कर रहा है यू कीप इट सिंपल एंड प्रैक्टिकल दैट यू शुड बी एबल टू इंप्लीमेंट और दो चीज होती है ना 99.99 परसेंट प्रॉब्लम दैट यू विल नॉट गो रॉन्ग आई एम टेलिंग विथ कॉन्फिडेंस एंड आई एम नॉट सिंग फॉर वन क्वार्टर और सिक्स मंथस और दिस वन वन ओवर ए ब्लॉक ऑफ थ्री ईयर्स यू कैन नॉट गो रॉन्ग With 99.9999 percent probability. Again, I repeat, simple and the practical. Jitna complicated karte hain life. Is is liye bolta hai jo ko shortcut leta hai na, wo normally lati posta hai. To iske liye simple rakho. Jo apne ko samajh mein hai wo karo. And Warren Buffett has said very nice thing. I don't invest in those companies which I don't understand that company. What simple and uska philosophy? Jo company samajh mein nahi aati, usko kyun lene ga? वैसे आपको भी जो कंपनी समझ में आती है जो सकते हैं उसको लीजिए एंड देन हैव दैट प्रैक्टिकल अप्रोच उस पर फिर कि उसमें इसको कर सकता हूँ नहीं कर सकता हूँ दैट्स अ वेरी शुड लुक एट इट कृष्णा इज आस्किंग वाई यू नॉट गिविंग मल्टीपल कस्टमर माई कैंड वेस्ट टू एट दिस प्लेस कृष्णा सर आप पी एम एस के वेबिनार पर हो मल्टीवेयर हम ढूंढेंगे और पीएम में डालेंगे ना इसी वेबसाइट पे दे दूंगा आपको वेबिनार में दे दूंगा एक तो हमारा धंधा बंद हो जाएगा नंबर वन नंबर टू सी वी विल कम आफ्टर मी यू आर नॉट सपोज टू गिव स्टॉक स्पेसिफिक रिकॉर्डेशन हाउ आर यू गोइंग स्टॉक स्पेसिफिक रिकॉर्डेशन तो वन इज अ रेगुलेटरी कंस्टेंट बिकॉज आई एम द प्रिंसिपल ऑफिसर ऑफ मोजो पी तो मैं आपको कोई स्टॉक तो इसलिए तो दैट्स व्हाई आई स्टॉप डिस्कसिंग ऑल द स्टॉक्स ओनली प्रीवियस इन माय प्रीवियस अवतार व्हेन आई वाज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ द पीएमएस वी यूज्ड टू टेक अप कंपनी स्पेसिफिक क्वेरी आल्सो एंड वी यूज्ड टू डिस्कस इन लेंथ अबाउट दोस्ट कंपनी आल्सो यू हैव ऑब्जर्व द मोमेंट आई मूव टू द पी साइड ऑफ द बिजनेस आई हैव स्टॉप डिस्कसिंग दिस दिस वन सो आई मीन डू वी डोंट हैव ए क्वेश्चन आई थिंक यू बिकॉज ऑफ टाइम यू वॉन्ट टू We have let let let's take a couple of questions more basically because my presentation went on for half an hour, which was not I intended. But क्या होता है flow चला गया तो उसमें भी मैं थोड़ा over bore हो गया. Saran is asking how many strategies can we apply together in equity portfolio? Like I am following a momentum strategy, value investing strategy, growth strategy, like market mojo model portfolio, so that I am successful all types of market. But this has led to too many stocks in my portfolio. How to cut down the number of stocks and reduce the strategies? Sir, I have. I don't know, sir. This question is going to come. But in my previous, the answer to the question, I have told you that simple and practical. Sir, you say that you want to ride too many horses. Or you say that two horses riding on a horse, they will sometimes fall down. So my request to you, sir, you decide. What suits your investment style? 
तो हर एक की इन्वेस्टमेंट स्टाइल अलग अलग होती है किसको ये सूट करता है किसको और सूटता है आपको मोमेंटम स्ट्रेटेजी सही लग रही बिकॉज यू नाउ रियलाइज यू नो रियलाइज ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम विच स्ट्रेटेजी यू आर मोर कम्फर्टेबल एंड विच मोर फ्रूटफुल फॉर यू वेदर इट्स अ मोमेंटम वेदर इट्स अ वैल्यू इन्वेस्टिंग वेदर इट्स अ ग्रोथ स्ट्रेटेजी और जो आपको सूट करिए उसको फॉलो कीजिए बाकी दो स्ट्रेटेजी को साइड पे कर दीजिए सेकेंड ऑप्शन आई कैन सजेस्ट यू वॉट एवर स्ट्रेटेजी दैट सूट्स यू प्लूज सेवेंटी फाइव टू एटी परसेंट मनी इन दैट एलोकेशन बैलेंस टेन टेन परसेंट आपको मस्ती करनी है तो दूसरी दो स्ट्रेटेजी में डाल दीजिए वॉट वुड हैपन सो यू मे हैव मोर नंबर ऑफ स्टॉक्स बट यूर एज ए एलोकेशन यू आर फोकस ऑन दैट स्ट्रेटेजी विच यू बिलीव एंड विच इज मोर कोर टू हार्ट सो दैट्स वाई मेक इट सिंपल एंड देन द प्रैक्टिकल दिस इज द बेस्ट वे अदरवाइज आपके स्टॉक्स इतने बढ़ जाएंगे सर बिकॉज क्या होता है मार्केट का नियम है जब एक स्ट्रेटेजी चलेगी दूसरी नहीं चलेगी उससे क्या होगा जिस स्ट्रेटेजी में आपने पैसा डाला है वो चल गया पर दूसरा जो नहीं चली उसने पुल डाउन कर लिया तो ओवरऑल यू विल नॉट मेक मनी फ्रॉम द इक्विटी मार्केट तो आपने क्या हुआ खाया पिया कुछ नहीं ग्लास थोड़ा बाढ़ आना ऐसा कुछ कहावत है मेरे ख्याल से एंड समथिंग सिमिलर विल हैपन विद यू ऑल्सो सर What will be the stock market in next till next ten years? Bhupal sir is asking, where do I see the market in next ten years? So my sense is that if I have to do a crystal ball gazing, and I have to tell you right now, Nifty could be in the closer to half lakh, fifty thousand, uh, and Sensex could be in the region of maybe two point eight lakhs or so in next ten years. Uh, that's my prediction would be uh, for the uh, market in next 10 years having said that i do believe that mid and small cap will significantly out outperform to large cap in next 10 years Uh, Pawan is asking. As far as I know, every month December they book profits now due to year ending. Do you think that market correct because of that in next one or two weeks? Uh, sir, उनको जो कुछ profit book करना था वो कुछ wait नहीं करते last moment तक. They are also smart, am I right? So in fact, on the contrary, they will go out of the market. The sense they will become inactive. And if you remember my presentation which I did in first December 2020, I did mention that volume in December month would be lower than the volume that we saw. In the month of November, why? Because institutional investors normally go little. So, my guess is, today, on the 19th, in next couple of days, uh, they would be away from the market. In the sense, they will away. In the sense, the activity will come down significantly. So, jo kuch usko karna tha kar diya sir. I don't think market should come down because of their profit booking now. So, let's take last two questions. I know Amit also wants to rush home very quickly. बंगाल आई थिंक द नेक्स्ट जनरल इलेक्शन द फ्रीबीज विल बी द गेम चेंजर फॉर फॉर विनिंग बीजेपी ऑल्सो हैज टू ऑफर फ्रीबीज इन दिस केस द इकोनॉमी विल बी अफेक्टेड एंड मार्केट में क्रेस ओके सर दैट कुड बी योर कंक्लूजन दैट कुड बी योर वे ऑफ एनालाइजिंग द थिंग्स यू कुड बी राइट ऑल्सो आई एम नॉट सींग नो वॉट आई डू आई गिव माई व्यू ऑन 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 हाउ यू शुड प्ले जनरल इलेक्शन स्ट्रेटेजी इन नेक्स्ट टेन टू ट्वेल्व डेज तो मैं रिक्वेस्ट सर बंगाली सर प्लीज वेट फॉर दैट एंड आई आई मस्ट टेल यू दैट सर यू कुड बी राइट ऑल्सो यू कुड बी रॉन्ग ऑल्सो बिकॉज ओनली वेन द इवेंट टेक्स प्लेस एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वॉट हैपन वी डोंट नो पर आई डेफिनेटली सेल माई व्यू वॉट आई बिलीव कैन हैपन पोस्ट जनरल इलेक्शन द प्राइज मूवमेंट Please block your calendar uh, for this very important event. I want you to uh, 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 do that. Last question before we uh, wind down for the today. Uh, Jay Prakash asking, will the forthcoming budget impact the market anyway? No, sir. Uh, there will be what on account budget. Full fledged budget will come once the new government forms. There and there will be uh, finance minister will going to present the budget. Uh, so. This is water account, and water account normally does not have any impact on the on the market sentiment. So I don't think it's a it's a it's an event that market will be uh, uh, watching it very closely. I know, so it will not be. So again, just to remind everyone, 
as you can see on your screen, if you want anything which we want us to cover in our Equity Outlook 2024, please write to us on this email ID, Outlook 2024 at the rate mojopms.com. Please note that this email ID is valid only till 23rd December. Uske baad ye email ID inactivate ho jayegi. To wahan pe aapka email nahi aayega. So please write to us whatever you want us to cover in Equity Outlook 2023-24 and we're more than happy to do that. And please note that these are the topics anyway I'm going to cover. So please, if you ske ilawa kuch aapke paas hai, to please write to us and we're more than happy to cover. With this, thanks a lot everyone taking time out and attending this webinar. You have been a great uh, question that I've received today. I'm very thankful to you. It also helps me to uh, think a little differently when I get this kind of a intelligent questions. I'm so thankful for you. I'm every day learning when I interact with you. So thanks for that learning also. With this, good night, take care.